grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I note that Democrat vote fraud nearly blocked Rutherford Hayes from becoming president. Here's what happened in the 1876 presidential election. Hayes won, and the Democrat nominee, Samuel Tilden, lost by 185 to 184 in the Electoral College. Both sides reported small margins of victory in South Carolina, Florida, and Louisiana. History books written by hordes of Democrat professors since then obscure the fact that, at the time, it was obvious that Tilden's alleged victories in those disputed states were the result of Democrat vote fraud. Most African Americans, Republicans back then, had been prevented from voting by Democrats, who had also been caught falsifying many countywide ballot tallies. Forgotten by now is the fact that during this election dispute, the grand old party held the moral high ground. In any case, the official tallies from all three states showed Hayes the winner. Tellingly, the 1880 Democrat platform accused Republicans of having cheated their way to victory in only two states, tacitly admitting Democrat vote fraud in at least one. To avoid trouble from Democrats, the Republican candidate was sworn in a day early at a White House ceremony on March 3, 1877. Administering their oath of, oath of office was Chief Justice Morrison Waite. Hayes later repeated the oath publicly on taking office. If the Republicans had indeed stolen the election, why did Rutherford Hayes become such a popular president? He could easily have been re-elected, but decided to retire. In his place, the nation elected another Ohio Republican, James Garfield. If the Democrats had really been cheated, why didn't Samuel Tilden become a hero? Instead, he quickly faded away. Because he was busted trying to buy an electoral vote, that's why. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.